Yeah, we're a bit flat after the game, but I guess, you know, it's fun game, so we've got to move forward, we've got to learn from it. We have to earn our respect in this competition because it's not an easy competition. You know, every team's, you know, super hard. They're at a stage now, they, what do they do? Five games into the season, we can't make wholesale changes. They're a nervous side, they're a fumbly side. Defensively, they're not sound, and they're lacking work rate. So, I don't know where you'd start. They've got the thinnest midfield in yeah. the comp. They can't kick the ball. Well, I there's mean, no excuses. They've had all the draft picks. So that makes them just simply a very bad football team. There's too many passengers, too many guys, when the game was up for grabs, weren't applying enough pressure, didn't roll the sleeves up. What is their point of difference? I don't think they've got one at the moment. There's no spark, no sizzle, yeah. there's, there's no trick. And this has been the most painful rebuilds that the game has seen, mm. I think. So they've got issues everywhere, absolutely everywhere. We have the man whose portfolio this is. He fired the first salvo on the back page of the age. Say, 20 years of rubbish. It wasn't a terribly subtle point. Mark McClure, nice to have you here. But it was true. Mm -hmm. That's the point about it. And um, I was a little bit upset after the game. And, and, and they played five games now. Two of them, one, one against Collingwood, one against uh, Richmond, where they were nine points down at, at three-quarter time. And when, the, and when the crunch came, they weren't there. And that's the killer. And then all of a sudden you come up against a couple of easy sides. They play Frio and they play Gold Coast. And they hung in and, and played OK. But then they get another go against uh, at Port Adelaide. And crunch time watch came real early because the, the lack of competitiveness from some of the players in that team is, is atrocious. And, it, and the biggest thing for me is, I don't know, it's, uh, it's about the players actually having some respect for each other and for themselves. I don't see it. I don't see them working together. I don't see... When I watch Richmond, I see five and six uh, yellow and black Guernseys in the, in the screen. I watch Carlton, I see one. Maybe two. There's a glimpse out the side. They just don't work together. And uh, to me, I'm, 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 I'm upset. I get upset about it. I didn't like it. Uh, there's some great kids there. Walsh and Cripps are great. You know, they all are fantastic at what they do. And we're doing sensational. And Kerno tries. We've got a few of those guys who are fantastic. But we've got some non-competitors. And they know who they are. And we know who they are. And we mentioned a few today in the paper. Uh, and they know too, because they haven't rung me. When I usually give them a bash, they usually ring me up and give me, say, hey, hey. They know. They know exactly what it is. But th it's only fixable by the players. Players need to get together and start to, to work out a way where they have set some standards for themselves. Because at, the, at this stage, we're not seeing it from anyone else. There's a guy who runs the, uh, the leadership group. I would get rid of him immediately, uh, not do it anymore because he's part of the club. You want someone from the outside who looks in, not someone who's a yes man because he's hanging on to his wages because that's what happens at footy clubs most times. If you don't say yes, they say see you later. So for mine, that go and get an outside that Richmond did it and get what happened to them. They were exactly the same position five, six years ago. Fiddling around outside the eight, 13th, 12th, 11th and... Ninth. Ninth, and then, then mm. all of a sudden, bang, they flew in to the, to, the, to the top eight and away they went. Became a really good side, but it was all on vulnerability and it was all about... Uh, how can I help you? And what can I? How can we get, be better? But they, the best thing is, when you watch the good sides, the numbers around the ball gives you a really good indication who's in the, who's in the game and who's not in the game. And guess what? The Blues aren't. So, as you've been in media for a long, long time, and you, yep. and you, and you I've seen you angry before about yep. Carlton, mm -hmm. and you're, you're a very prominent Carlton person in the media. This is this is hurting. This is not anger. This is actually hurting you and, and your brethren. The Carlton fans I know, they're not angry anymore. They're really hurting. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they feel they're, let down. No, they're sick of it. That's actually sick of it because 20 years is a long time. You see, see uh, Essendon kick back up. You see Sydney kick up in two years. You know what I mean? And win four or, four or five games in a row. And, and you go, well, how come we couldn't do that? How come that didn't happen? So there's some faults somewhere amongst our group, somewhere in our in our club that that, that disallows us to do things. Do you, have you got any idea that what you think under the surface could be playing a role here? Uh, no, I just think that the, the to me, I think that the players got to take control of their own destiny. If someone at the footy club can't do it for them, you got to do it yourself. And I think that that's the most powerful thing you can do. Peer pressure is bigger than the coach telling you. And my dad used to say, oh, don't do that. You know what? I used to do it because your dad say, don't do it. And it's a bit similar with the coaches sometimes because mm. they bash you up. But the peer pressure, when they don't want you anymore, let me tell you, that hurts.
Mm. Do you worry that it hasn't been built right? So you say it's on the players, but the broader conversation is, is it the right group of players well, to achieve? Well, I have a look at some of, some of the skill areas. I mean, and, and when you do some recruiting, you look for blokes who actually can kick the ball. You look for guys who have got some, some poise in, in, under pressure. You look for people who actually got some grunt. You know, give me a bunch of rat bags and, and I tell you what, and you'll, you can build a side. And, and, and I haven't seen that. Got a lot of nice guys out there doing yeah, not, not much. You're a nice team. You yeah, that's the hit problem. Hit it on the nail, mate. mate. They're too nice, and 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 I, and I think the coach might be a bit nice. So I think I hope he he uh, and and I didn't want to. I don't want to hurt the club because I got eighty thousand members. Don't forget, eighty thousand members is an enormous number. And the whole thing is about hey, you still got an opportunity to make the eight here. There's still a chance, but who's going to bang them on the head to get, to try and straighten them up? And and, and the other day, and when um, police rang me. I've sort of lost my mind, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Seen that before, have you, Jerry? <laughs> I have. Yeah. I might have sort of yeah. preyed on it once or twice, too. Oh, you have. So You've used me big time. Maybe. Um, <laughs> but you're real this time. I mean, no, I'm not saying real. you weren't real it's before. It's real. Yeah, I'll it take that real. back. It is real. It, it's, it's a this really a real deep thing. real. This is not a lack of performance. This is just a real part of life. And if you don't want to be any good, keep doing what you're doing. So these four weeks... Which is, it's, it's a huge trial. Yeah. So it's the Lions and Essendon. You can already feel what that Essendon game is going to be. <laughs> Bulldogs at mm. Melbourne. So if it's to be retrieved this season, it has to be retrieved in the next four well, weeks. Well, they're going to win two of those. Okay. Yep. I mean, you've got to pick off what you can pick off. And, and sometimes uh, they're probably not at their best. But you know what? Sometimes you need to shake too. You need to shake people. You need to shake the trees to find out what you can get out of them. And uh, let's hope that uh, this week has hurt them a little bit. How often has Essendon and Carlton got into about round four, round five, round six every season? And Man, it's life saying, and death. Oh, God, how big is this game of footy <laughs> this weekend? And once again, this year, how big is this game of football? Yeah, it's, sort of, it's, a, it's a worry for me. I mean, and I want to say something too before we go, but David Teague's uh, uh, mother-in-law is in, in, in real strife. Uh, and I think we should have great respect for him and the family as well. So she's, um, I won't say what's happened, but uh, she's not well. So this is a, but it is a club conversation rather than zeroing in on the coach. No, no, it? no, it's got nothing yeah. to do with the coach. I, I don't, I don't blame the coach at all. He may be a bit nice to him, but I reckon he might get a little bit dirty now. And I, yeah, he's going to have to, because otherwise everything gets shaken. That's how every coach evolves a little bit, don't yeah. they? Yeah, well, you, sometimes you've just got to straighten some people up. Hey, listen, you're not, yeah, I want to ask you a question. How many people have been dropped at Carlton since David Teague's been there? Rather, like big, biggish names? Sorry, this, none. Not one. So Why? Right, and, we got, and we've lost how many games we lost? Yeah, we've lost. And you, and you haven't dropped one person? So you're looking at selection, selection, Se integrity? Integrity of selection has been atrocious, I reckon. Seriously. When you have a look at some of these blokes, and you sit there and they're just non-competitive, totally non-competitive. We just saw a few on the screen there. Can I just ask one more thing? Forget you're in the media, put your Carlton jumper and your Carlton... I think Carlton, I've had it on yeah, for a while. Yeah. Carlton <laughs> captain. Carlton ca you talking to that era of the 80s yeah. and 90s, yeah. I know you're still friends with them. How do they speak about the, the, the current climate at the club? Not just this year, bit of last year, bit of the year before. What, hey, what do they think? I Mark's think. Robert, I know, you're your Mark, that's right. <laughs> um, let me tell you, we had a bond you couldn't break. Let me assure you of this. It was so strong that if you, did, you made a mistake in our group, we would just shun you completely. And, and if you didn't put your hand up, it would be worse. Out you go. And, and seriously, people left the club because they couldn't, couldn't keep up with what they were doing. If you're not fit enough, you're not tough enough, you're not strong enough, and you don't help someone else, we didn't want you. And let me tell you, that's how you build a footy club. Sellers, it's good to have you here. Great stuff. You sure? Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Always. I want you on Always. every week. Jared doesn't want you on every week. Soldier down the river.